Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to show you how to calculate the force on a, on a current carrying wire inside a magnetic field. And we're going to start with an easy example, simply a straight wire with a current I through the wire. In a later example, we'll show you on a cursed wire how to do that. So here what we can say is we have a current running through the wire in this direction from bottom here to top here we have the magnetic field going this direction and let's take a small element of that wire a small DL and of course the direction of DL would be in that direction it's the same direction as the current and so what we can say is we're going to calculate the force on the small little line segment how do we calculate the direction of the force? We'll use your right hand rule. You point your fingers in the direction of the current, then you curl your fingers in the direction of the B field, which is from left to right, and your thumb points into the board, which means the force, whoop, and let me use a different color. Use a color right here. So the force would be into the board right there, and let's call it a small little DF caused by that small little current element right there. So what is the magnitude of DF? Well, the magnitude of DF is going to be equal to the magnitude of the current times the length dl multiplied times the strength of the b field so it's i times the length times the strength of the b field and of course if you want the magnitude of that the df is going to be equal to i times dl times b times the angle between them it would be the sine of the angle because that's the result of the cross product we find the sine of the angle between them sine of theta right there and so we can then say that the df can be defined as i times b times the sine of theta times dl and then to find the whole force we're then going to have to add up all the small little line segments from one end to the other end so we can say that f is equal to the sum, which is the same as the integral of all the dfs, which is equal to the integral of all the i times b times the sine of theta times dl. And we're going to integrate from one end to the other end, so from 0 to the length l of that current segment, that line with the current in it. Notice in this integral, the current is a constant, the b field is a constant, the angle is a constant, so we know that the force is equal to i b times the sine of theta times the integral from 0 to L of dl. So you can see this is a very simple integral, a very simple exercise. You probably already knew the answer before I even started this problem, but at least you can see the technique that we would use to find it if it's not as simple as this one. So anyway, the integral of dl is simply L, so the force is equal to I b sine of theta times L integrated from 0 to L, and of course we plug in the upper limit, we get L, we plug in the lower limit, we get 0, and so this becomes the force is equal to I B L times the sine of theta, which we know already before we started the problem, but at least you can see this is how we solve a problem like that, even if it's not as simple. Basically what you do is take a small little element, you know the current through it is I, you know the length is DL, you want to know the direction of DL because you want to know the angle between L the direction of the current and the direction of the B field. And you can see that the angle here is theta. And so when you do the cross product, DL cross B, that's the same as DL times B times the sine of the angle between the two directions. And that's how we find the current on a, on a wire inside a magnetic field. Starting with a straight wire, simple example. Next example will be a little bit more complicated.